Ever wonder what motivates political cartoonists to draw, say, a Tyrannosaurus Rex eating Donald Trump, or perhaps Santa Claus blowing up a Nazi with a bazooka? Well, in these two examples, my guest, two-time Pulitzer Prize winning editorial car cartoonist Steve Breen, gives the credit to his kids in his new book, Unicorn Executions and Other Crazy Stuff My Kids Made Me Draw. Syndicated editorial cartoonist Steve Breen, welcome to Evening Edition. Thanks for having me. Now, the drawings in this book are, of course, not your Pulitzer Prize winning uh, pieces. <laughs> However, they're really something amazing. Tell us about some of your favorites and how they came about for this book. Well, um, we did cartoons or drawings in this book on everything from uh, vampires to great white sharks to zombies. One of my favorites is uh, the X-Men um, series, which is uh, U.S. presidents with mutant powers. Uh, my boys and I are big X-Men fans, and since we couldn't put any X-Men characters in the book because of copyright reasons, we had to give these powers to other figures, and we thought, well, oh, U.S. presidents would be interesting. Well, now, as your title of your book, and as you just said, your kids actually had quite an influence on, on having this done. How old are your children, and how'd they get you to do this entire book of <laughs> drawings? Well, I have six great kids, and they range in age from 15 to uh, two months. And the book was done with my boys, my 15-year-old, my 13-year-old, and my 9-year-old. Uh, and um, we uh, love to draw. We love to create. We love superheroes and zombies and monsters and things like that. And it was just a way of bonding with them, doing something that, that interested in them. Yeah, because you know? uh, probably the editorial cartoons. Not so much. <laughs> Not so interesting you know, when you're 12. Healthcare cartoons, <laughs> you don't really care about when you're 12, right? Well, um, did they get the credit for this Miley Cyclops thing, or is that something you particularly like to do? Well, I think um, I uh, was asked to draw Cycloptic characters, and uh, I kind of threw out like Brad Pitt and, and Miley Cyrus, um, uh, you know, some names in the news. You so you, you have a thing for celebrity cyclops, right? C yes, celebrities drawn as, as mutants or monsters are always entertaining. Okay, I, I hope you don't draw me as a cyclops. I just want to get that out there. No, 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 a centaur. <laughs> a centaur, much yeah, better. Yeah. Much can, better. can a woman be a centaur? I'm not yes, sure. anyway, okay. of course. Okay. In a, yes, in a cartoon again. <laughs> now, your day job is, of course, syndicated editorial cartoonist for UT San Diego and Creators News Service. Um, what are your deadlines like? Um, every day that I'm working at the UT, I'm drawing for the next day's newspaper. So uh, by 6, 6.30 every night, I have to have a cartoon. Whether or not I'm, I'm inspired, I have to do something to fill that space. How, how do you, as an artist, deal with your creative visions or inspirations and these deadlines? Do sometimes you just go... I uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes my wife will call me at 4 o'clock and say, you know, are you coming home for dinner on time? And I'll have to say, no, eat without me. Um, I can always come up with something. That's what I tell people. It's coming up with the truly inspired cartoons, you know, the ones that you're going to send off to Columbia University for Pulitzer consideration. Those are the hard ones to come up with. And but I can do, always. Where come do up with you something. get your inspiration from? Well, reading helps. You know, God gave me this brain that if I read enough and think enough, I can usually come up with something wacky or inspired or poignant or whatever the case may be on the news topic. Have you ever uh, done an editorial cartoon and thought, oh boy, I went too far or gotten in trouble for going too far? I have, I have done that, yes. Um, you're probably going to ask me for examples. Sure, I, yeah. I how about one? I, how, I, about, how, about the, how about the one about uh, Monica Lewinsky? Okay, well, I mentioned that earlier. Um, so I did one back during the Lewinsky scandal, and I showed Hillary, and she's between Paula Jones and, and Monica Lewinsky, and she's saying, I stand by my husband through thick and thin. But um bump Now, I would not have drawn that cartoon today. I think it's a cheap shot. I think it's picking on people's body types. And, um, you know, there's a million other ways that you could have made a point so, without doing that. So, so you every learn once from in a while, that. You, you learn, learn from, from that. that. And, and you have good editors, too. Good editors, and I've been blessed with good editors at the UT. Um, they're very helpful to pull you back and, and redirect you. You've also been blessed by Hollywood, evidently. Your uh, <laughs> new book, Unicorn Execution, it's very fun. It's not a children's book, however. No. Um, uh, but Hollywood seems to really like it. I understand there was a bidding war for your uh, movie yeah. rights to this. And where does that stand right now? Um, we're waiting for the green light, but Universal has the rights. And, um, you know, they buy the rights to books and things all the time. And uh, out of every property that's bought, you know, only three or four get made into a movie, but we are hopeful. Uh, we'll right. see. Well, we'll we'll see. be keeping our eyes out for yes. that editorial cartoonist, Steve Breen. Thank you. Thank you.